Hi, I'm Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to manage the property page layout. The team will include 7 property page layouts and in this video I will show how to manage the options for the first one. I will explain all available options based on this property. First, I will show where you can manage the property page layout settings. You will need to go to team options, property page section and property page design. The first option in this section will be to select the property page layout that you want to use. I have the first one selected and next I will show the settings that you can make to customize your property page using this layout. I will start with the first option which is the media header type for property page. Currently it is set to no. This means that my property will not have a media header displayed. I will quickly select another option just to show how the media header will show in the property page. After refresh you will see the team slider header that I just selected in team options. Going back to team options I will set the media header back to none and next you will have the media section type which will include the property image slider. For the layout that we selected it is suitable to select a slider that will be displayed in the property page content like classic slider, vertical slider or horizontal slider. I will select vertical slider to make an example and the slider will be the vertical one. Back to team options you will be able to select the other slider types but since they are made to be displayed in the page header using this layout the sliders will be small and will not show well. The next option refers to the image slider as well. Here you will be able to enable or disable the buttons that will show in the slider. You can move with drag and drop the elements that you do not want to show in the slider. For example I will leave only the gallery and the map view and on the property page you will have only these two buttons. Buttons. Also, if the property will not have a video, a virtual tour or street view enabled, the buttons will not show. After the image slider, you will have the overview section that you can manage from team options as well. I will show where. You will need to go to overview section. Here with drag and drop, you can set the elements that will be visible in the section. I will move to elements to show how this works. I will save the changes and on property page on refresh you will have only the elements that currently show in the visible section. Next you will have the property page sections, description, address, details and others. You can change the accordion layout with the tabs one and also you can hide any section that you want. This can be done from team options as well. In the property page design here you will have the option show content as and you can choose between accordion or tabs. If accordion is selected then you can manage the property page sections from the selection for accordion layout. Here you will have two columns visible and disabled. With drag and drop you can move the sections that you do not want to show in the property page in the disabled column. As an example on how this works I will move address, amenities, map, and other sections in the disabled column. I will save the changes and going to the property page on refresh you will see only the elements from the visible column. Going back to team options and back to property page design. If you select tabs then you will be able to manage the sections in the property page from selection or tab layout. Here you will have three columns in tab, after tab and not visible. I will make a few changes just to show how this will work. So I will leave these sections to show in tab. In the after tab section I will leave only the map, payment calculator, and agent and I will move the rest in the not visible section. I will save the changes and now on refresh you will see the sections that were selected to show in tab. You will see them here and after you will see the sections that I set to show after tab. You will have full control over the property page sections. You can select the ones that you want to show and hide easily the ones that you do not want to show. You can see that this property page has a sidebar side and you will see the agent on the side. This option is managed from team options as well. You will need to go to contact and schedule tour. Here you will have the option to show agent contact form on sidebar. Currently in my property page I have 
the agent once in sidebar and once here. If you want only one agent section in your property page, you either disable the agent on sidebar or move the agent section in the disable column. If you want to have a property page without a sidebar, you can manage this option from Team Options. You will need to go to Property Page Design. Here you can select no sidebar or change the sidebar position. I will set it to no sidebar to show the result. You will see now that I do not have a sidebar anymore. Going back to Team Options, here you will have more options that will apply to the property page sections. You will be able to make settings for the property details to be displayed in one, two or three columns. The same can be done for property address and property features and amenities. This was a quick overview of the settings that you can make for the first property page layout. The structure of the settings will be the same for all layouts. And in our list of video tutorials, you will find video tutorials for the other layouts available. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.